excited today because the portraits of our queens came. And I have the frames right here. So just gonna do a little art project and then get these portraits on the wall beside the rooms. First we have Himiko of what is now Japan. We have Queen Margrethe, current queen of Denmark. We have Catherine the Great, former ruler of Russia and sort of champion of the Enlightenment. We have Eleanor of Aquitaine, our French queen. We have the late Queen Elizabeth II for our new bridal suite. And we have, of course, Cleopatra, who was ruler of the Ptolemaic kingdom in what is now Egypt. Very excited to get our queens up on the wall outside the rooms. Unfortunately, that is a lot bigger. <sighs> Today we're going to show you some of the rooms that we have to offer. So we have three to four rooms on each floor, but we will only be renting out uh, five total. But today we'll look at four. So the first room we're gonna show you is Cleopatra. And there's Cleopatra, our queen. So Cleopatra is a room where we have two single beds. And this can be for two people that come and just stay in a room, or it can be an extra room for children, uh, for, for people who are staying in Eleanor, which is right behind this door. Okay, so we have a large window over here, and then two twin beds. Every room, of course, with uh, linens and towels and every room has a nice armoire where people can put their belongings and a fireplace. And then in the bathroom of Cleopatra, we have an oversized shower over here. Nice and big, plenty of room. And then sink in Cleopatra with double mirrors and of course toilet so very comfy very cozy for two people or for two children just here with their parents now we will change the design of cleopatra and all of our rooms uh, in time but for now, we have it as the previous owners had it. And we've just updated some of the items in the rooms. But we'll do a full redesign just to reflect a little bit more of Cleopatra's uh, personality and some Arabic style. Have a lot of ideas for some of the design patterns and colors that we wanna bring in here. Okay, so that's Cleopatra. And if we go down the hall, well, this room is actually not in service at this time, but this will be our Elizabeth room. And this will be our bridal suite. So you can see we're moving some things around in here and trying to get it ready. Uh, this one needs the, the most of a remake. We need a bed and design for everything, but it's a larger room and we have of course, our <clears throat> fireplace. This room has two windows. Right now, this huge armoire is blocking it. 
and we have a giant mirror which we're going to use so brides can see themselves in their full outfit their full bridal gown and we haven't decided on what furniture but you can see we have a lovely bathroom inside the turret in here which again we're in the midst of remodeling but it's going to be a lovely space and along with the uh, elizabeth room if we rent it for weddings will come an extra sitting room which is going to be redesigned for bridesmaids and bridesmaid mothers as well as a children's room in case we have a bride and groom who have children so that is elizabeth or will be elizabeth and we expect this to be a really grand room all right further down the hallway we have eleanor and eleanor is open today i'm earing her a little bit and this is eleanor of aquitaine so our french queen and eleanor is a really lovely room it's got three windows in it Beautiful high ceilings, little sitting area. Desk and chair. Lovely four poster bed. And as with all of our rooms, armoire with the mirror, we have a large mirror in every room. Yeah. Bedside tables with lamps and uh, in Eleanor, as with all of our large rooms, we have dual sinks, toilet, and Eleanor is the one room that has also a tub and shower combo. So this one might make the best sense, maybe with uh, parents or with small children, or if it's someone who just wants to relax a little bit. So that's Eleanor. Absolutely gorgeous. We love the large windows. <laughs> mm. We spent a lot of time washing all of these uh, curtains and, you know, vacuuming up flies uh, just from the rooms. It's really hard to um, have an old place like this and not have to battle the flies a little bit. It's closing the windows. We've aired it long enough. There we go. All right, so that's Eleanor. And, and, and as I was saying before with Eleanor, you have the option to make it a suite if you have kids. And, you know, through this room is, of course, the Cleopatra room that we showed you earlier. So, Eleanor and Cleopatra can be rented together. All right. So, the left side here is Eleanor and Cleopatra, and the whole right side will be the... Queen Elizabeth II bridal suite. And there's our yard. We're planting flowers today. Okay, onward and upward. So here on the second floor, the first place that we will see is our Catherine the Great room. Yeah. All right. And Catherine is a room that we have that has a single bed as well as a double bed. So again, we have that large, big window, fireplace, armoire with full length mirror, desk and chair. 
any of the rooms that don't have a desk and chair, we're adding a desk and chair. Window. Mm -hmm. And of course, bathroom. This one again, one of the smaller rooms. It has an oversized large tile shower. We have a single sink with dual mirrors and of course, toilet. I can hear Bo on the lawnmower. I'm just gonna go close these windows. I think this has aired enough today. Yeah, he's out there. <laughs> All right. So this is Bo and I's room. <laughs> and you can see we're still cleaning up and doing some construction. Got Bo's um, lift here. But here we come to Queen Margrethe. Mm -hmm. And this again is one of our large rooms, has three windows, four poster bed. A little desk and chair. This is the doorway that goes through over to Catherine the Great. If you wanted to rent this as a suite, if you had had a larger group. Yes. But back in Margareta, we have, of course, the armoire with the large mirror here. Mm -hmm. And toilet, dual sinks in this one, dual mirrors, and an oversized shower. Of course. Mm -hmm. All right. And then something special that we have for Margareta. We bought our first piece of design, and these are towels um, from the Queen's summer castle that's here in southern France. It's just about, oh, I don't know. 30 to 45 minute hour, 30 to 45 minute drive from here. I think it's Chateau de Cakes is how you say it. But we got these towels just from her chateau, the gift shop over there just a few days ago. A couple, couple pairs of them just so we can have them here in the room for any Danes who might stay here and, and know her, her chateau. Yep, so this is Margareta. Mm -hmm. Now under construction and, and cleaning and needs a little bit more love is our Himiko room. And Himiko was a not very well known ruler of the area that is now Japan. And I just thought her history was so interesting because she had a, uh, not a harem, but a, I guess you could say a court of a thousand women. <laughs> so quite the feminist, but this room is, is a very much sort of, we're cleaning it up and fixing it up. There's a few broken elements in here, uh, but we have in here again, a single bed and a double bed. And uh, yeah, just working on, you know, getting this one good to go and all cleaned up. One feature that it has that is just the coolest is it has one of these old sinks. Let me get the light on here. And the sink uh, tips to empty it. So, you know, you come, you're washing your hands, da 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 da, -da. You do that and you think, oh, where's the drain? Well, there is no drain because it's a tipping sink. So you just tip it to empty it. 
We saw this at one other chateau that we looked at. Pretty cool. Okay, back down we go. When you walk in, you have our dining room here. And it's a nice big room for guests to come and have their petite dejeuner uh, in the morning. We have this table here with uh, what, what you know, 10, 10 chairs, and then we have another table that we can bring in uh, with more chairs. And uh, this room has lovely chair rail as well as. Um, Nice crown molding. Bo, he made the real effort to go up and to remove all the spider webs and all the spiders and really clean uh, that molding up there. I was in charge of these door frames as well as the doors and the chair rail and the footboards to get them cleaned up and we did all of that by hand just to give it one good deep clean you know before we had anyone here lovely fireplace in this room yeah we do have an old dumb waiter it doesn't work but maybe someday we'll get it to work see so yeah <laughs> you're not gonna get get much but that goes down to the basement where they would have had the kitchen back in the day so just cleaned it up for now but in, in time would like to get it working again perhaps it could bring up some wine or something <laughs> Uh-huh, looking good.